Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the end of year investments. This includes the winter investments, the Christmas investments, and the end of the Shattered Web Operation investments. So guys, let's get into this video. And by the way, I apologize for being a little bit sick. If my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm a little bit sick. But anyway, let's talk about these investments. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Shattered Web investments. The reason for this is because it's pretty easy to sum up what you should do with the Shattered Web collection and all of that kind of thing. So basically, the entire operation is going to have those three collections, the Norse collection, the St. Mark collection, and the Canals collection. So these three collections are all going to be good investments across the board. Every single skin inside of these three collections is going to be a strong investment. Some of them will be stronger than others, and I did actually talk about that in my Shattered Web investing video. You can go watch that video, and that one actually has a full sum up of all the best skins to invest in from those three collections but those three collections in general are going to all just be good investments every single skin in them is going to be a good investment this is due to trade-ups obviously being very popular uh, going forward and obviously those skins are not going to drop anymore so their supply is going to be limited and you're not going to be able to obtain them anymore after the operation ends and so obviously every single skin is going to rise in price after that all the way from the very low industrial grades all the way up to the red covert skins like the op gun mirror so by the way you one thing you have to take into account that I didn't really mention in the previous video is that everybody who bought the pass but did not buy stars, which is kind of rare, but everybody who did that is going to only have 100 stars and it's only going to have till the end of the battle pass. That means they're only going to get a specific amount of drops from each collection and you can kind of determine the overall rarity of each skin based on that uh, as we move through the operation. So for example, if you wanted to invest in say the op gung here, you'd have to look at how many of the Norse collection drops they actually have in the top, uh, in the first 100 stars and then you can determine if the op gun mirror is going to be a stronger investment because of the amount of drops that are actually happening. Another thing you can do is go to float db and there, there you can actually type in a skin that you want to see the um, amount of supply of and then you can just search all of them in existence pretty much and you'll be able to you know see how many are actually registered on there and if at the current moment the op gun mirror is in very very low supply last I checked it was a little under 400 it might be a bit above that at this point um, but it was under 400 so there's a very low amount of them in existence Compare that to, of course, the Op Dragon Lore, which in fact, new condition, 0.03 float. Uh, there's over a thousand in just 0.03 factory new condition. So there's a very low amount of op gun years. There are going to be a very, very, very strong investment after this operation ends. Also, you have to keep in mind that there are no operation drops in the game. So for example, if you play a game and you want to get a drop, like say the op gun year, you want that to drop in game. That is not really going to happen as often as it did previously with like the op Medusa, for example. So that is also going to cut off the supply and you can also make your decisions about uh, a supply there for that investment as well. So once again, just to wrap up what I think is the best thing to do for the operation investments, go watch that other video and you'll be able to see all of the collections and which skins out of all of the collections that I think are going to be very strong investments going forward. Uh, but if you don't want to watch that video, just invest in literally anything from those three operations. Wait till about midway through this operation when hype is at sort of a low point and then start investing in those skins. This is a 16 week operation, so that means you should wait till about week eight to start investing in these skins and try to find you know those nice ones like the Baroque Purple AK and the Emerald Jormungandr uh, Desert Eagle. And so if you go ahead and invest in all of those things uh, when that happens in the eight week period, you'll make a lot of money once the operation ends and those skins skyrocket in price. Do you feel a chilly air moving in? Well, that's great because it's the winter sale and the winter sale for CSGO is going to do a few things to the market. So let's talk about that. It's not going to be really specific skins to invest in, but rather skins that you should be looking at in general. So let's get started. So as you can see, based on this leak, the winter sale is going to start on Thursday, 19th of December and end on the second of January. During the winter sale, a few things will happen that is important to know for you investors out there. First of all, there's going to be a lot of games going on sale. The winter sale is usually just as big as the summer sale, if not sometimes a little bit bigger. Of course, it depends on the games that come out. We saw with this most recent summer sale that it wasn't all that great. There weren't a lot of games that were, you know, very enticing to buy that went on sale. And so a lot of people didn't end up selling their CSGO skins. Some of the skins were cheaper, but they weren't, you know, as cheap as they had been in previous years. And so with the winter sale, we're kind of hoping that there are better games out there so that we can make some money off of buying low-cost skins. 
So what you should do is you should basically just go out and look for very high quantity, very high demand skins. Uh, basically go back to my server cell video and look at the skins I talked about in those. I know those are old videos, but the skins are still relevant because they were based off of, you know, quantity and demand. And so uh, for that reason, those are kind of the same skins that are going to go down in price during the winter sale if, you know, any skins go down in price during the winter sale. However, one more important thing to notice with this winter sale is that there's also going to be a lot of people selling their operation stuff during this winter sale because the operation is new people who invested in the operation might think oh well i want some of these games and so they might sell off some of their operation stuff which will kind of equalize the prices a little bit this can also be a very good opportunity for you to buy for the operation stuff and uh, you kind of want to do this at the beginning of the winter sale so around you know when it actually starts on december 19th you want to kind of just get it then and then uh, start buying skins right away right when stuff starts dropping uh, wait maybe one or two days and then try to look at the market and see what's down and uh, if you can buy some of those operation things for cheap that's that's gonna be pretty good you can invest in some of those nice operation skins and if you want to buy some of those like other skins the previous ones that already existed before the operation such as the AK Redline that's also going to be a good thing to buy around this time as well once the winter sale does start though I will be making a more in-depth video into investing in the winter sale and what you should buy during the winter sale so don't be worried about that I will have another video follow-up for that uh, those specific skins that I think are going to be good and some of the specific operation skins that I think you should be investing in uh, when the winter sale actually starts up and that's actually about it for for the winter sale because it's that's really just all it is it's on that fulcrum it's on that point of people are going to sell their skins because they want to buy games and therefore skins are going to drop in price because everybody's going to be taking up all of those buy orders that are currently set on skins once those buy orders are gone the skins will drop in price and you'll be able to buy them for cheap so with that being said that's going to end it for the winter sale stuff and let's move into the final aspect of this video which is christmas he sees you when you're sleeping he knows when you're awake and he's here to bring you great deals. So let's get ready for the Christmas time. Okay, so to be fair, you're not actually going to be buying anything during Christmas. I mean, I guess you can, but you'll be losing a lot of money. What you want to be doing is actually selling things during Christmas. The reason for this is because prices are going to skyrocket. And the reason that prices are going to skyrocket is because many people around the world are going to be receiving Steam gift cards and money for Christmas, and they're going to have a lot of money to put into things that they like. One of those things that they like is going to be CSGO skins. We also have one of the highest player counts that we've ever had in the history of CSGO, and we're also one of the most popular games on Steam at the current moment, and so for that reason, there's going to be a lot more people out there that are getting back into the game that are like, okay, now that Christmas is here and I have some extra money, I'm going to be able to spend some money on skins. And uh, there's going to be a lot of skins rising in price like crazy. Now some of the best skins to look for, uh, I, I will try to make a follow-up video when we get closer to Christmas so I can, you know, kind of have a better idea of, uh, you know, what's actually going to rise. But what I can say in general is that you should be trying to sell uh, some of those really, really, really high demand things. Uh, again, like AK Redlines, Op Asimov, uh, all those really popular older skins that are going to be very enticing for the returning players. And then maybe some of those newer skins as well, some of the ones on the newer side at least, like the M4A4 Desolate Space, the Op Wildfire, uh, the Op Containment Breach, some of the newer things that people are probably seeing for the first time uh, if they're maybe new to the game and uh, maybe try to pick some of those things up, sell them on the Steam Marketplace, and uh, see how that goes during Christmas, because everything's going to be super inflated. Based on the current metrics and how many people are actually playing CSGO, I could see Op Asimov Field Tested going all the way up another extra $20, maybe an extra even $40 if it gets that popular, and uh, those could, you know, go all the way up to, you know, up to $100 even, potentially. Um, there's of course also stuff like the Op Lightning Strike for some of those older returning players that could also rise quite a bit during Christmas. Pretty much everything that has been awaiting a rise is going to get a rise and hold it, and then everything that is high demand is going to get a rise and then go back down later because everything is going to be super inflated uh, again during Christmas. So you should just be looking out for those high demand skins. Again, I'll be making a more specific video when Christmas gets around, uh, but that's kind of your general guide. Look for those super high demand stuff. Uh, look for the old high demand stuff and the new high demand stuff and uh, try to get some of that before Christmas starts and then sell it on Christmas for a nice fat profit. And to be absolutely clear on this, you should not be buying any skins during Christmas. All the skins are going to be super inflated in price. If you see things going up, do not buy it. I know there's a lot of people out there that kind of look at the market in a very day-by-day -day view, in a very holistic view, and they think, well, you know, maybe my skin's going down right now, so that means I should sell it, and I should try to get back as much money as I can. Well, a lot of the times that stuff is just cyclical, and sometimes it's just a, a cause of inflation or deflation. And so, for example, I saw a lot of people saying that they were they lost a lot of money during this operation, 
production and you know they were going to have to sell their operation skins now so they can recover some of the losses and uh, all their inventory super down and it's all this bad stuff but in reality the operation just made prices go down cyclically it made it go down because there's a lot more hype for the operation but once the operation ends and we're back to a content drought none of that stuff is going to actually stay down in price it's all going to increase in price uh, like you know it should regularly and that's actually just how it works there's a lot of cyclical things in the market that'll decrease or raise the prices of items and everything is going to recover after hype is gone so of course when it comes to christmas and all the stuff is inflated in price you want to go ahead and sell stuff then and then buy it back after christmas ends and after prices have deflated again if you see your skins going up sell them if you want to buy them back after christmas then buy them back after christmas but at that point you should not be basing things on a day-by-day -day holistic basis you should be looking at things in the long term and you should be looking at how things are going to be affected in the future so again don't sell things just because the operation is out and uh, don't buy things just because they're really high on christmas okay are we clear on that all right good so that's that's what you need to do during christmas and uh, that'll pretty much conclude the christmas segment of this video so guys that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for 1000 subscribers once again i'm still actually growing pretty rapidly all the way up to 1070 at the time of making this video which i'm super happy about and uh, thanks for all the support of my shattered web investing video uh, obviously that's a very high demand video so i guess i kind of expected it but uh you know again you still blew it out of the water so thanks so much for that and then uh, for this video, you know, hopefully it does well. I'm hoping it does as well. Put a lot of work into it and a lot of work into looking into the uh, market and the things that are going to happen during it. So hopefully this video is informative and it's good for you. If you did think it was informative, be sure to leave a like on the video to show your support. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. And uh, you can get notifi notified on all those kind of things. And uh, make sure you go share this video with your friends to get it out there a little bit more. Have people more aware of what's going to happen uh, during these coming months of the year. I will be making follow-up videos, like I said, on these specific topics that I talked about. Just because some of the things can change over time and so follow-up videos are pretty necessary. Again, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those follow-up videos and you can kind of get an idea of what's going to happen in the future. Uh, furthermore, I'd like to shout out my Discord. We just hit 400 members and uh, we're still growing pretty steadily. There's a big trading community on there if you're into trading. And there's a big community on there just for CSGO and playing CSGO. So make sure you go check out my Discord server. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace.